Notre Dame's Fighting Irish first faced off against the Navy midshipmen on the football field in October 1927. Notre Dame's next opponent is once beaten, but always rugged Navy. Beginning one of the longest running college football rivalries in the country. There's the running forward pass to Keller for a touchdown. George Knotts now in his quarterback. Passes to Anderson, who laterals to Dick Padberg for Navy touchdown. And though they're fierce athletic competitors, the University of Notre Dame and the United States Navy have long been collaborators off the field. For decades, they've worked side by side to advance democracy, freedom, and innovation. From its earliest days, Notre Dame recognized the bond between Christianity and patriotism and served her country in its most difficult times. During the Civil War, Holy Cross Father William Corby served as chaplain to the Irish Brigade that fought at Gettysburg. And in that same tradition, Father Theodore Hesburgh realized a lifelong dream when the Navy named him an honorary chaplain in 2013. I really feel at home with the Navy, and I come from an old Navy family. But it was during the days leading up to the Second World War that Notre Dame solidified its partnership with the Navy. Notre Dame offered its campus to the armed forces, and in September 1941, Admiral Chester Nimitz established a naval ROTC unit. Shortly after came the midshipman school, and finally, the V-12 Navy trainees. Records estimate that nearly 12,000 Navy men completed their officers' training at Notre Dame between 1942 and 1946. In a 1942 radio address over the Blue Network, Notre Dame President Hugh O'Donnell announced, we are training men for America for today and tomorrow. Our task is to provide leadership, not only during the war, but also after it. The university placed its laboratories at the disposal of the government. Professors and students of physics, chemistry, and bacteriology conducted research to support the war effort. Notre Dame was the first to study high energy electrons and x-rays. This trusted partnership begun during World War II continues today with both a strong naval ROTC program on campus and innovative research supported by the Office of Naval Research. I haven't been associated with the university and, uh, and the Navy uh, for the past 30 years. I found that there are more commonalities than, than we do have differences. We're imbuing in them a, a sense of uh, service before self and a sense of integrity as well as a sense of uh, responsibility and accountability, which I think are key and very important to both of our organizations. The work with the Navy in particular has been of interest because we have a lot of students here who are interested in this field uh, of physical acoustics and sound and how it's generated uh, is a very attractive topic for students and it's going to be important for their careers. In addition to that, we have a large ROTC program with the Navy. A lot of the ROTC students work here in the laboratory and get first-hand exposure to the problems and scientific research that the Navy is interested in. And those students then go off to the Navy and work directly uh, in the field where they're exposed to sound and vibrations and they have that understanding of how that research is being done to make those things quieter. The only time we ever compete against each other is, is on the football field. But outside of the football field, for the other 360, you know, four and a half days throughout the year, is that it is, it is really a partnership that we are we're going and that they're mutually beneficial.